I'm a massive hip hop fan and, and that low end, the sound, the, you know, and, and interestingly on Moonlight, um, one of the things that we had explored was this idea of chopping and screwing the music I was writing using that style of Southern hip hop where I took my own recordings and slowed them and Can you explain them. for our audience what chopping and screwing is? Because it's something you've referred yes, to yes. and used in yes. your scores. So chopping and screwing is a style of hip hop. Um, the, one of the great pioneers, DJ Screw, um, who would, you'd take a, rec- it's, if you take a recording and you basically slow it down, the pitch goes down. And when the pitch goes down, you get this deepened, enriched soundscape. It's just everything is is sort of widened and, 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 and richer. And you can do that with any piece of music, but if you do it with beats and things, like everything gets deeper and richer. And on Moonlight, in one of the first conversations I'd had with Barry, he talked about his love of chopped and screwed music. <laughs> and we had this kind of idea of, well, what if, what if I were to write music for, and this was before he had shot the movie. I mean, this was way early. It's like, what if I wrote a score? And what if we applied that technique to my classical sort of oriented cl- compositions for this? And that's one of those ideas that, again, it's an interesting idea, could work, could be terrible could not work at all you know you don't know and we started doing these experiments early on um when i was actually working with an early cut and it did work it actually it it provided this whole sense of development for the music where in addition to different thematic elements you know music as just music in a way in addition to just sort of changing the type of music by actually changing the music and changing literally the way the recordings were. So you're also like this other dimension where you're bending the recordings you're making in different ways. Um, It felt to us like that accomplished the development of Little's own evolution Mm. throughout the film. And one of the, you know, going back to the succession, one of the sonic results of that was that you ended up with this classical, quote unquote, more orchestral kind of sound that actually was lower than you would normally hear. You know, you you had this like sub layer where, you know, you have cellos that are sounding in like the bass range just because you've bent them. <laughs> and I thought I, I thought that sounded beautiful. 